Brace yourself for a whirlwind tour of Karen madness, featuring jaw-dropping entitlement and crazy confrontations. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. This neighborhood, Kevin didn't like people outside of his house or street so much so that he came over and threatened to beat this boy up for being within a hundred yards of his property. Let's take a look. Go it! You're like 45. And I will stomp your in the ground. For what? Talk to Yeah, bring it up. And you, you're a little girl about to get your whooped by a 45-year-old man. Because you're in the Step middle of the Step out of the truck! Road. You almost ran over me! I went in the other lane. I was no you. You're, you're a little and you know you get out. You're like 50 years old talking. 20 year old you don't want to take you like a man you don't want to take you feel like a man yeah i do okay you cool. feel like it for what for yeah, going you in the other lane you're in the middle of the you almost road. just got swept by a 45 year old dude you feel like a hard, don't you? i am recording i don't it. think i am no. stop like you got balls and you don't you came up and flipped me you off. stop no i flipped you flipped me you off, stop so I... like you got balls and then i said you what is don't. the issue i said what's the issue you ain't got balls i didn't say i did i never Record once said that. that you ain't going viral when you got no nuts Okay, you're a 45 year old dude talking to a 20 year old. You just got lit up by an old 45 year old man. You're a bad, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, I win. You feel you like lose. it, don't you? Oh, you flinched, little lady. No, I'm good. See, because you know you lose. How do I lose? Because I will beat your into the ground all day long. That's kind of, isn't it? I will beat your <laughs> dude. Hop out. I don't have to hop out my it's car. It's cute to laugh. I mean, you're That's being, what a girl you're does. being a psycho. You're horrified. You're. Mother noticed that every time their child drew on the sidewalk with chalk, almost immediately it was washed away. She stayed outside until she found out who was doing it and confronted them for it. Turns out it was this guy who believed that the drawings were offensive and he didn't agree with them and took it upon himself to wash them away. Let's have a look. Best believe. Keep it moving. Go. Go. You go. Right there. No, you can't make me go. Go. I uh, can make you go. No, you can't. Yes, I can. You go. You call the police and I'll stay right You here. go. You I'll go. Stay, I'll stay right I will call the police on you. You're My daughter wrote all this stuff. God bless you, God. Yeah, yeah. God bless you, too. You and the way that you think. You come prepared with water bottles so you can erase this every day. Yeah. Every day. Yeah. Yeah. You have that much hatred in your heart against blacks. Yes, you do. Look at our neighborhood. I look at our neighborhood. What the f so is chalk on the sidewalk bothering you for? I'm, 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 ride your bike and keep it moving. Why can't you talk like a normal human? I am talking. It makes me mad because people like you causes problems. Mind your f business. This is chalk on a sidewalk. This is my neighborhood. So what? You can ride up and down this neighborhood all you want to, but mind your business and leave this alone. Doing this, I'll keep and then I'll keep on doing it to prove a point. So if you want to waste energy sitting up here trying to erase the word black because it bothers you so much, I'm going to keep on writing it. And I'll have more surprises of my... We can't have a discussion. Why? Because you're bothering something that my daughter drew on the ground. An angry elderly woman at the back of the bus was telling people to go back to their own countries, along with other offensive remarks, and was soon kicked off the bus. I can call them this. I can call them to keep away. Okay? Keep away from me. If you say that again, I'm going to get you off the bus. Go ahead. All right? I'll walk home. I will walk home. You can't walk home to Africa. But this is the second time this is happening to us. I wonder why. This is the second time this is happening to us. All right, please. Why can't you get kicked off the bus? What? She's the one disrupting everything. I am a r***er! Come You're disgusting! Disgusting! I'll send it to me, I know. Well, you're disgusting too! I'm Irish! If that's disgusting, you're a disgrace to the country! Get off the bus! Get you, blonde! What's up, Mutsi? I couldn't say it with all these black Get out of my way! This Karen was following and harassing these random people because this lady walked her bike through the entrance of this building and this Karen was so upset by that that she actually followed her and demanded her information. This Karen then continuously harassed her only to tell her that she was going to call the authorities on them all because they walked their bike through the apartment complex. Let's have a look. 
It's like harassment. Like you can just. I'm say not harassing message. you. I'm, I'm just. You're literally staying in the elevator with I us. I am riding the elevator. I don't think says home. Nobody says I can can't stay in the elevator. You need to just go back home then. I want to find out what floor you're on. It's creepy. Well, sorry. Like we're we're all adults here. You don't have to literally. Well, then you can the act like an adult and follow the rules and regulations of the building. I understand that, but like a warning is enough. Like you don't have to. Do How do I warn you if you're not going to tell me what unit you're in, or if I don't know where you live? That's just weird. This is unnecessary. It might be weird to you. This is just un unnecessary entirely. I can't believe this is actually happening. Okay. Are you gonna go? No. Are you gonna go? No, obviously not, because we kind of just want to go home. Okay, let's go home. You keep pressing 20, but you're not going. Well, maybe I'll push all the buttons like a kid. Why would you do that? I don't know. I like to play in elevators. This is Customers decided that they didn't need to pay for the items that they were stealing before being recorded and chased outside. These thieves were so quick to leave the scene that they even forgot to remove the trolley from underneath their car before damaging their vehicle in an attempt to get away. Let's have a look. Call the cops. It's a, a, a male with a big box. These people were minding their own business at the skate park when this mother comes up and accuses them of abusing her children. She gets in their faces and starts calling them every name in the book. I didn't say anything to you. Yeah, you don't worry about it. Hey, hey, there's rules that I protect your kids. All I said was, hey. Why did you ask me? Why did you even ask me? Why did you even ask? No, if you don't give a why did you ask? If you didn't give a why did you ask? Then why don't you talk to him. Then why'd you ask? Don't talk to him. Then get them off our gun. Talk to him. Go, go, go read those rules. Go read those rules. Did you make this? Did, did you make it? Did you make it? No, but I pay taxes. I don't Come here. Do that. So do I. So do I. Don't be that sneaky. Hey. Hey. You. Look at this. Are you kidding? Black. Got me up. I'm an ignorant black. Anything you. Bye. Bye. You don't want with this. Bye. Yeah, we got a bunch of. Yeah, get the out of here, dude. What? Oh make my god, me, please move! Make me, dude, make me, dude, make why, why, how did this become hostile? Make me, alone! Make me, I did nothing! Exactly! I tried to protect your kid from getting hit! I tried to protect, I tried to protect your kid from getting hit! They were, you don't own your, I don't own anything, I didn't say that, you did! You said, all these assumptions, you made all these assumptions! Make your assumptions and walk away! This woman is determined to stop a guy from leaving, claiming he hit her with his car. Who do you guys think is in the wrong in this situation? Hey! You don't f in my car! Please do. Hit 
Bye bye. This guy was driving his Korea truck when he went through an intersection, and the person in front of him didn't indicate correctly. The problem is, though, the guy in front of him thought he did everything correctly, so he stopped his vehicle and confronted this employee. He took his anger out of this employee and started yelling and screaming at him and tried to fight him as well. Let's have a look. Oh, yes, call on the DHL truck, US dot, send it to your boss. I'm sure they'll agree. Send it to your boss. You were rolling. Who do you work for? You were, I work for myself. Okay, you, you, lose your job today? you were you were rolling you through. You lose your job today. You were rolling through a stop parked. sign. You do deliveries, right? You're illegally parked, so keep on recording. I might call DHL. You, you were rolling parked. through a stop sign, so I was gonna let you go. Uh, you were you were rolling through a stop sign, so I let you go. So I. Intersection. Is there a stop sign here for you? You're rolling through the stop sign. Is there a stop sign here for you? Is there a stop sign here for this kid? He's not gonna win. You're not gonna win, kid. Is there a stop sign? So why are you stopping in a one-way? You, you're rolling through the stop sign, so I, I was going to let you go. You're about to lose your job, kid. Yeah, they're really going to fire me when you're using that kind of language. Why not? Yeah, why not? they're really... When you're why this not? upset over over why something not? this simple... Check this out. Yeah. Check this out, boss. What? You got the right one. Why not? Tatra Signy? You know what Tatra Signy is? Who's that? You don't even know where you at. I got something for you. This family-owned construction crew had just put up a fence for this homeowner, and upon completion, even though there was no problem with the fence, the homeowner just didn't want to pay the price. Let's have a look. My son has 5,000. No, no, no. Give me 1,000 that I fix. Are you going to give it? No. I ask you one more time. No, no, no. No, no, no. See, who was a fool? Why didn't you pay me and let me go home? Instead, you say fix it and I give it. Pay me, no? This Karen couple had just hit another vehicle, and when the lady tried to get their insurance information, they refused to hand it over. This Karen couple believes that they weren't in the wrong and also accused this lady who was the victim that she was causing an insurance scam. This entitled Karen then had a total meltdown at her and became extremely heated over it. She can hold the insurance card up to the phone so I have the no, no. information. No, no, you're not doing that full of scam. Are you serious? Are you serious? How am I going to What's scam you? He hit me. What is your problem? You're just it's an asshole. Look, where's the damage even on her car? Dude. Maybe that? That, that is was not there. for me to decide. That you don't know what she did inside? What if she hit it? How am I pulling the scam when she hit me at a stop sign? How am I pulling that scam? You have her ID. I'll give yes, you her phone and number. Now I, need I don't insurance. want to turn in any insurance. I want you to have your guy I, call me, and I'll go, and we'll look at the damage, and then if it's needed, I'll give you the insurance. Well, if how it's about some you give me insurance, thing. and I can call you if something's wrong with it, and we can figure it out. But she hit me. I need insurance. I was stopped you at a stop sign. Hold on. So simple. Okay. This is not complicated. You're obviously very young. It's and so is she. Of your and the way the... It is You're the business. A jerk. She I'm the insurance. Stop sign. I'm the insurance. Okay, great. Well, she then ran give a stop me the sign. What stop sign? She hit me at the stop. This guy was at work when he was stopped and confronted by a Karen who believed he was up to no good. She demanded proof of his identity and what he was doing there. The guy understandably refused to provide her with any information as he wasn't obligated to provide identification to a random person. That's when Karen started recording him, claiming her husband was a cop. Let's take a look. Well, so, you know ran, so random lady, and you're not acting professional. So random lady just came and asked for my, my identification. You are tampering with the law. And my credentials while I'm at work. <laughs> I don't know that you show me your credentials. <laughs> You're making a fool of yourself, man. No, I am protecting the DMV. You're making a complete fool no, of yourself right now. No, I'm protecting right the DMV. You know what? I'm married to a cop. <laughs> so, what does that supposed to mean? It means that you're, you're not complying with being. You're making. You're making you're a fool. You're not even acting like an employee. You're making a fool of yourself, no, ma'am. No, you are. Ma'am, can carry on. Look at this right here. Look at this woman. I don't even want to say what I really want to say, man. Dun da da dun. 
Never. Witness the experience of these passengers flying Spirit Airlines. The turbulence on this plane might make you question your life decisions. During this car meet, a group of friends decided to look back at their car that they had parked earlier and realized that a group of random people were at their car and were moving the body parts and literally stealing their car parts for no reason. The group decided to run over and confront them who only played the victim card. But he told me that I can have it. You don't really? touch someone. Touch the car. Yes, I, we literally have it on video. We didn't move. We've been here talking the she whole time. She did. Look at the video. She look, did. Look at, look at me. We were She's all sitting standing. here. We were sitting we literally there. Literally watched her tugging on it. Yeah, I asked Manny for that before he sold it to me. No, he didn't. Matter. It's on her car. Yeah. It's her no, property now. Okay, first off. First off. First you off, are not part of this. No. We're so stop. Oh, he got a weapon. What are you going to do with that? What are you going to do with that? Okay, what the what are you gonna do? Ah, not your place. But it's not your place, and especially not yours to come up with a whatever the that was. Some tough guy. Okay, first off, uh, my woman. Or what? You're gonna no. hit me? What the are you gonna do? Bring out that Seriously. weapon? There's twenty bucks. For you. This gentleman was on break and eating his lunch in the parking lot when this Karen wanted to park next to him, but he had his door open. Instead of taking one of the many available spots, she nearly damaged his car by driving hers into it before getting out and having a total meltdown at him. Let's take a look. Yeah, record me because you're heading into a parking lot. Because you're useless. Like she all goofy. I don't give a f want to park here. It's not for this. This is not what your door is for. What? Who is this right here? You're Mexican. You're not black. Who are you calling? Goofy, look at this. Hey, right, someone get their wags, man. <laughs> Who the f is this? Who the f is this? <laughs> what the f is this? <laughs> Whoa. Who's mass is this, bruh? This woman is a master class in letting things go, even when your pride may be on the line. <gasps> Look at this jacket, Jesus. Oh, this is glorious. Look at this one. I like this plaid. The plaid, I it was. That's mine. It was on a, it was on a, this is yours? Yeah. You work here? Yeah. Okay, I picked it up from off this rack. This was yours, that's mine. This is this. You work here? Yeah. And you gonna buy this? I'm just asking a question. That's mine. Okay, but you're working here and you're putting all this away. Okay. If you... Here you go. I'm not even gonna argue with you, ma'am. I'm not. Have a good, have a, have a happy new year. I'm not about to argue with you. You're gonna be fighting with everybody if you don't put it away in the back if you want it. Okay. I'm just, I'm just saying. If you want it, put it in the back. Okay. This lady had parked her vehicle on the side of the road and there was not enough room behind her for another car to park. There were plenty of parking spaces just down the road, but the guy behind her decided to hit her car in an attempt to budget forward a few inches, which would give him enough room to then park his vehicle. Let's have a look. Currently touching my vehicle. 
Why is it okay to hit my vehicle to get me to move? How is that okay? There's a whole street. You don't have to park right here. That's not on me. I don't have to move and you don't get to hit me. That's great, but I'm not obligated to move. You don't know why I'm waiting here. Nobody's obligated to do a nice thing. And no one's obligated to hit my car because I won't move out of your way. Are you punishing him for touching your car? He hit my vehicle, sir. That's not me punishing anybody. That's not the point. You don't get to play bumper cars to get what you want. He can park. That's the point. If he, if I did, he could, but that's not what this is. You don't get to physically hit my car. So it's punishing. So like, How am I like punishing, punishing anyone? anyone for touching your car? How am I punishing anyone because, because you hit my moving, vehicle? You're, you're, not, not, you're not moving your you're In not what moving universe your is that an acceptable response? You just shove people out of your way when you're waiting in well, line and they don't move? We're waiting for you to move. Why? There's other places why to park. Will, you don't know why I'm parked what here. What will it do if you move your car too far? I think That's not the point. Car. What is the point? There's other places to park. You do not get to hit my vehicle with your car because ma'am you moved me twice i have a dash cam i have a recording back here i saw you hit my car i felt my vehicle i'm full because you hit my car that's not the point in what universe is it acceptable to play bumper cars with real vehicles yes i'm the unreasonable one i will thank you for hitting my car this is all on camera, just so you know. Check out this altercation between a guy and his upstairs neighbor, who's quite upset about his new front doormat. How can I help you? Look, I'm not trying to be ugly, and I'm not trying to cause any scene with you whatsoever. We live in a family environment here. I have children here too. To me, having the F word on your doormat is not respectful of anyone that lives here. And it's not respectful of you to touch my property. It's not bothering anybody. I have my neighbors across the hall. I'll pay you for your mat. I will pay you for your mat, but get that out of here. I don't know what made you change it to something so ugly as that, but I, I'm, I'm not gonna, no, you know, you, that's yeah, not the because I've heard you stand in front of my ring doorbell and talk about me, which was inappropriate of you. When you know, what did I say about you? I haven't said anything, ma'am. You can lie to Jesus Christ if you feel that is the truth. I don't care. You have talked about me in front of my ring doorbell. I have proof of it. I have no reason to lie on you, make anything up on you, ma'am. So please, you can just move away from my door. Do not touch anything. You have been reported to the office. Thank you. Have a nice day. Get a life. You get a life, you mad old hag. You don't. Get Apparently you life. don't, you old heifer. Get on up them. This woman stopped a guy riding his bike and accused him and his family of unlawfully entering this gated community. I just want to know uh, why, is that your dad, the, the silver-headed guy? No. Okay, so is that your mother? Yeah. Okay, well, I don't have a problem with your mother or anything. I want to keep the peace. You know what I mean? And you guys aren't aware, but this is supposed to be like a 55 and up retirement area. And everybody's getting freaked out in this park now. There's a lot of residents. You know what I mean? And, a lot of residents. Yeah, a lot of residents. And, and there shouldn't be people in this park. So this should be a vacant park? No, it's, it shouldn't be a vacant. You're not grasping on 55 and up. It's a retirement area, a retirement area. See, it, you, you, I'm only house sitting. She's one of them. Talk about causing problems, she likes to stir trouble with her mouth. I've seen it on many occasions, especially with the utility people. Um, who am I? Yeah, who are you? Gina Jones. Gina Jones, get the f off my porch. See? Don't come back. If you come back, you're going to jail. 
Yes, sir. Thank you. Go. Well, you've already been asked to leave once. No, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. There's no conversation. Goodbye. Okay. Thank you very much. You got some choice. But apparently we do because you left and came back. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. Don't be sorry. Be better. Take a look at Kevin's outburst as he forgets his stop and confronts the bus driver. Expecting mind reading isn't a fair demand, Kevin. Bro, what does it say right here? What does it say right here? What does it say right here? It's a stop, right? Can you, can you no, it, this is a stop, though, right? No, hand? this is a stop. Because I'm about to punch you in your face, dead dog. Oh, dead dog. Why does it try? Is this a stop? No, is this a stop? Is this a stop? Can you stop the bus? We stop like You should try. Bro! If you don't stop the bus, bro, I'm really gonna smack the you, bro. Yeah, you should try. Stop the bus, bro. Try. Stop the bus. There was two stops back there. You're not stopping, and I'm ready. I'm like, yo. Bro, just stop the bus, bro. We just, we just missed my stop. Stop the bus. Try. Stop the bus, bro. Stop the bus. Karen's at the gas station, blocking other cars just to fill up her tank because, you know, her time is way more important than anyone else's. Has been blocking us, telling us we came from the wrong side and there's a, literally a line in the back right there. And then she came from that side. And she said that's the, that's the right line, not the back side when there's two way. So, like, Hold on, baby, and my kid's over here crying, she's blocking. Uh, can you go, ma'am? Because, uh, my kid's crying in the back. My kid's crying in the back. I know you can hear me. You love making a scene, huh, Karen? <laughs> Miss Karen? Everyone's staring at you, Miss Karen? My kid's crying in the back. If you could just move aside. That'd be great. This guy appears to have been caught stealing, and from the looks of it, he might have taken half the store with him. I told you, I you did, you did, you did, you did. When you get some more stuff in that suit, I'm No, I just got the chicken. That's Open all the part right now. One, two, three. Open all the part real fast. Come on, sir. No thanks. Let's get the. Come on, sir. 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 Come yeah, we call it safe. Come on, man, put it in the bag. Right, right, right. What are we doing? Right, I, I, look, I just, I, my money was there. Oh my God! Man, I tried to ring up a banana. Huh? Hey, man, this man. Hey, man. Come, 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 take it all out, man. Come on, all come on, come on all right. pull it all out. All up, man. Come on. Oh my goddamn God! You just came for the flag. Right. Thank you. Damn. Bro, you want you want to put a CC on there, man, bro? Here we have a local Karen who has a meltdown at this guy. Executioner, how many more oak tree bodies are you gonna be responsible for? How many more magnificent Raleigh houses are you gonna murder just for your monster mansion? Millions. This lady catches a creep taking pictures of her in the store, but she's not having any of that nonsense. She confronts him head on and shuts him down real fast. You just took a picture of me. You just took a picture of me? Let me see your phone. No, go to your pictures. No, that's not your pictures. It's my pictures. Google no. Photos. Over there. Get out of that. Right there. Photos. 
What's that right there? Pictures of me. Why are you taking pictures of me? That's weird. That's creepy. Yeah, that's really weird. Don't do that ever again. I'll call the cops on you right now. And you're with a kid? Like, <laughs> being a creep with a kid? Like, how big can you get? Yeah, don't ever do that again. Delete it right now. Next up, we have a conspiracy theorist, or Karen, who gets evicted for not paying rent, thinking placenta trading covers all expenses. It could put, it won't because I couldn't afford to be billed. It's because there's no such thing. It won't because I couldn't afford them. It's because right, rightfully, I won't pay a criminal. Morally, I won't pay a criminal. Your water is free. Your gas and electric is free. And your mortgages are already paid for. Hence the word repayment. Look into your trust. Look into the fact that the Vatican own all your souls. And when you were born, the placenta, the, your, worth, your weight in gold, guys, factual. They sell your parts, your body parts, which is the placenta, and they float that on the stock exchange, and that's what causes the Federal Reserve. And that is what pays for your mortgage, which is why it's already been paid for. Signatures, that's what makes the money, your signature. The money, they ain't giving you nothing. They've lost nothing, which is why there is no actual crime, because nobody lost anything. No. I'm just taking back what was rightfully mine. Oh. Like Robin Hood. Watch as this disruptive Kevin throws a soda bottle at a woman sitting in her car. Do it! Do it. Take a video. I'm taking a video! <laughs> Prick. Go, you goddamn piece of sh you I'm pregnant, what the f you gonna I'll do? Your walk off. Get the f out of here. Do you. Do something. Do you. This Kevin is leaving no stone unturned to stage scenes of torment, actively searching the city for homeless people to harass. What's his deal, man? Hey, bro! Hey! Hey! Yo! Hey! Dude! Hey! Hey! You know what? F you. What the f Dude. Look at this. What the. God. Hey! Look at this. Look at all this. Look at this. Hey! I'm so f mad.
trash. City sanitation workers, come pick up your trash. Hey. Get ready for McDonald's mayhem. This woman requested a refund, setting off a chain reaction that sent the employees into a wild frenzy. I'm not being disrespectful. I'm right here. I'm not, I'm not being disrespectful. All I'm asking for is my money back. No, no, he's not going to do that. He's not going to do that. All we asking for is the money. That's all I ask, sir. I know, I understand. You did. It was. It was. And then you're right. You're right. And then you're right. Baby, you're right. But then I said to myself, listen, can I have my food together? Meanwhile, hear me. Meanwhile. Stop. And I got a backup pair of gloves. Listen, I asked for, they're not complaining about the money. I asked for my money back. Sit. I asked, I asked for my money back. All right, so who's your general manager? Who's your general manager? So I can call. Are you sitting staying nice and calm, right? She said, get the money back. He said, you ain't getting. Yes. And then now I'm leaving out here without food. And I asked the manager of here, can I just say my money? They didn't ask for their money back. I asked for my money back. So what did what did that have to do with anything? I'm waiting for a moment. So nice and calm. I'm not screaming. He could. He could. He could. No, the reason we, we can't really give you a refund is because you already redeemed your food. Don't matter. That's not true. Baby, come on. Listen, I'm a manager, I'm, I'm so I know. Manager, okay. Exactly. And you the most calmest thing, and you're not even a manager, my love. We can just leave. We can leave. We can leave. We can just leave. We can leave. That's because these little Camden dirty. They, listen, they don't even know what it's headed for. That's the funny thing. We can just leave, sis. Come on, we can go. They all right. They got it. Come on, we out. An erratic Karen parks on the neighbor's property, and when confronted, she becomes confrontational. Yes. Did, did you get Megan's email? Yeah. Can you move your car then? There's someone behind me, Dieter. I'm not going to do this with you right now. You guys are absolutely then, psychotic. Then you I'm can like ask them to move. I'm five inches in your goddamn spot. Like, are you kidding me? There was snow out there. Why didn't you guys just like ask politely? You guys are so insane. We've told you not to park in our spot, right? I'm not parked in your spot. Well, yeah, you are. I'm like five, five inches over. You're parked in our spot and we'd appreciate it if you'd move your car. We're gonna tell you. Get the out of here. We're gonna tell you. That's fine. Okay. I'm gonna smash your face. Really? Yep. You wanna keep talking to the camera? It's okay. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna call the police and Leave then- Leave us alone. I mean, I heard about your, uh, Prior uh, uh, police uh, uh, involvement. Uh, Look, you can't even talk. You're such a. Just go away. Go away. Enter the scene as this woman requests a mechanic to change her oil and repair the air conditioner. To her dismay, the mechanic takes advantage by using her car for a food run and she catches him red handed. You're telling me that you're test driving the car. No, why are you test driving my car? You're getting food at Tommy's. I took my car to the dealership so you could change the oil and change the air conditioner. Why are you driving my car to get food? In the driveway of Tommy's. He's in the driveway of Tommy's. He says, and why are you, you're going to break my tires? There's a car behind you. What are you doing? Why are you going in reverse? If you hit my tires, you're going to change my rims and my tire. Why are you doing this? You're getting nervous. Well, why are you nervous? You're not supposed to be getting food when you're supposed to be, my car's supposed to be at the dealership. Meet this fearless turkey. Unfazed by a suspicious, slow-moving white van, it fearlessly charges forward, determined to chase it away at any cost. Okay, seriously, this turkey has been stalking the mail truck throughout the entire neighborhood. Oh my god. Oh gosh, 
this is so funny. There it goes. <laughs> oh my god, this is so great. A delivery guy goes off the rails over a $2 tip, outright refusing to deliver the food and tossing it around like a madman. I drove 28 miles to get here and I had to put gas in the car and you only gonna give me a $2 tip? Uh, bro, 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 now you bugging, bro. $2, what is that, bro? What is that? What? Nah, bro, I'm not jack. Bro, you gonna have to come outside, bro. You gonna have to come outside, bro. Come on, bro. Like two dollars, bro. Now you gonna have to up this, bro. Come, what, what's two dollars, bro? What's two dollars, bro? What the hell is two dollars? What is that, bro? What is that? What's two dollars? You you bugging, bro? This. Yo, yo, what's up with you, bro? Two dollars? Yeah, that's a good tip. You didn't. Bro, I had to go get food for you. You ain't go yourself, bro. Yo, respect the delivery I have, person. I respect you, bro, but the food is expensive. I can't give you no more. Bro, so two dollars. Bro, you ain't no. getting your food, bro. Stop two playing, dollars. Two dollars, bro. Yo, 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 what are you doing, man? Take a look at the intense exchange where a mother accuses the teacher of being the cause of her children's terrible school grades. On reports because of his behavior. In school. And why is that? His behaviour at home is fine. So his behaviour in school is to do with the teachers and the teaching and the fact he's not getting the attention. Yeah. We had parents evening last week. Blake's mum. That's correct. Yes. How are now you I'm not very pleased. My That's son right. has got bad grades and I'm not really happy about this at all. He's worked really hard and he's still got bad grades. Now I think this is down to yourself. Right. Um, well, there are lots of things that we need to bear in mind. And what's think, that? Well, first of all, he needs to get he needs to get his target grades by the end of year eleven. So he's still got. But how's he going to get his year. target grades by the end of eleven when you're not actually helping him properly? Well, he says that he doesn't get any attention really. He, he gets he gets as much attention as as all the teachers can give. 30, 31. But not good enough. This is my son, and they expect a better grades, and you're not coming up with them. This parent confronts a teacher outside of school after her son's grades aren't improving. You can't blame the child. The child is the child. You're the teacher. You're the one that's been through education. You're the one that's been to university. You've got the qualifications. You are saying that you can teach. That's what you're saying. You're a teacher. But my son is coming out with bad grades, and I'm really worried. Has he done the mock paper that I gave you for him? To He's do? done it all. Right. And, and we can help him. given that to me, which is part of the problem with... Well, Blake. he says he has. This is part of Blake's issue. He will be saying... One thing, he will say one thing to yourself, which is... But if that's the case, well, if that's life. the case, you should be on it. You should be phoning me. You should be telling me that well, he's not doing well, that. I shall tell you how I am. You it. can, yep. I can send you the emails that I've sent to the head of year. I can send you... But we've been emails. down that line before with other yes. things. We don't get the emails. The emails don't come through. When you leave me now, there'll be no communication. I, I will then have to ring the receptionist at the school and all the rest of it. We have to go through all this red tape. And at the end of the day, nobody comes back. The apologize. teachers are always too busy. They're either teaching, they're doing this, they're doing that, they're doing the other. They're on holiday. But the education's not happening. And my son's got... Bad grades. I, 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 I know it's. Um, it is. Look, look. What I'm wanting to know is how are you going to improve his grades? If you let me speak. Yeah. Okay. I, 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 am I being 
filmed. No, I'm not filming you. You're not filming I'm me. I'm not filming you. I'm just wanting to know what's happened to my okay. son's grades. And I have that right because I'm his parent. Well, uh, Blake's on report because of his behaviour in school. And why is that? His behaviour in school, his behaviour at home is fine. So his behaviour in school is to do with the teachers and the teaching and the fact he's not getting the attention and he doesn't it's know where to go hard, with it. No, he's not hard. You understand the characters. In what the sort of teacher are you? Macbeth. We're talking about Macbeth now. Well, that's what he needs to, he needs to know about. He Macbeth. needs to be able to read and write properly. Never mind about Macbeth. Let's get back down to the ABC, shall we? Is he, how, how many nights is he He's, revising? He revises with me. And I, and I can read and I can write. And so something goes wrong at school. That work to, something to, to, to goes wrong at school. Well, if you look at the detentions, the amount of detentions that he's in, if you look at the bullying record... Right. I've, I've, I've had, had enough of this. I've had enough of this, and I that's think we should have a sure. proper... Meeting at school. By, right. by all means, by all means, we can sit down with the head of year, we can sit down and you'll hear... But it's say, no good sitting down without getting the results, okay? I will be